Woodstock was Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Three days of peace and music, as it says on the ticket, which I still have. And um, where it was located, where we lived in Pennsylvania, we could go up the back way. I had to work on Friday. I was working for Uncle Eddie, delivering produce. And um, so I couldn't go on Friday. And my buddies that I was going with couldn't go on Friday either. They must have been working too. So we left real early Saturday morning, about 5 o'clock. And they already had on the radio and stuff that all the roads are closed. You can't get near it. But my friend Eric, his dad, had told us to go up, you know. and. Um, so we went up the back way and, and we drove right up to within a, probably half a mile of the stage. Just left the pickup truck on the side of the road and we walked in and boom, there we were. Yeah, so it was great. It was amazing to see all those bands. Oh, a bunch of them stick out. Um, Saturday afternoon, I think it was Saturday afternoon that they played Santana, who we didn't know about yet on the East Coast. That was, that was a revelation who we had never heard anything with like a Latin feel, mm -hmm. you know, and he had those drummers, those conga drummers, um, and just, he played great, and it was, it was good. They had good songs, and they were, they were a really good band. Um, there was a band called Mountain with this fantastic guitar player named Leslie West, and uh, that was their first gig. It was the first place they ever played was Woodstock. They were powerful. Uh, the Who, of course, I had already seen The Who a bunch of times by then, and that they were a big influence on me, Pete Townsend. Bunch of good stuff.